So I watched about maybe, what, four minutes of the live that Rita's over there doing as we speak. She's on camera. She's crying, talking about CPS and how, you know, she doesn't know why people are coming after her, that she's not on here telling her life story. In the amount of time that Rita has been on here, we know that she's struggling from substance abuse. We know that her child has been molested. We know that she has multiple emotional breakdowns. That's enough for anyone to know. And what we also know is that she calls herself a comedian. One of the greatest things that a comedian possesses is that they have the ability to be able to turn their pain into humor, into humorous events, and they can turn it into a story. They take the negative and they turn it into a positive. But she turns a negative into a bigger negative. And that's my problem. It's been plenty of people on here that tried to support her and tried to back her up. But you can't help motherfuckers that don't want to be helped. And clearly she don't want to be helped. Every time she get on this camera crying and sniffling and telling every single detail to go on in her life, She's letting people know that, hey, I'm just letting y'all know the shit you're doing is really getting to me. It's really bringing me down. It's really making me sad. And unfortunately, there's somebody out there who is getting a whole lot of pleasure out of her pain. And everybody thinks for some reason that that person is Sean. It's not. It's not. It's just somebody, some sad soul, some sad motherfucker that's even sadder than she is that's sitting up here causing this mess getting pleasure out of her pain. It's weird. It's weird. And a lot of people keep asking me, oh, oh no, do a live, do a live, do a live. I'm not eager to let all these motherfuckers in my life because all of them don't have good intentions and they don't have my best interest at heart. And the first thing that they see, they run with it. Whether it be a fan in the window, an AC unit in the window, a Sephora bag, a dirty ass house, a blunt, a Q-tip, whatever it is, they're going to take it and they're going to run with it. And I'm not eager. It ain't a motherfucker on here that don't get tired of being strong all day. We are all going to have that moment where we can't take life and we are going to cry. We're going to scream. We're going to yell. We're going to vent. But don't do it on here. Don't do it on here. YouTube is not the place to be exposing yourself and trying to find yourself having identity crisis and emotional breakdowns. Turn it off. You keep saying that you're done with this and it's over and you're getting off. Take a break, Slim. Take a break. Save yourself. Because if you're waiting for somebody else to do it, it's not going to happen. They've tried. Multiple times. I mean, like she was crying so hard, she had strings of spit inside of her mouth. Y'all don't know what I'm going through. We are all going through some shit. Ain't nobody on here perfect. As a matter of fact, we get on here because it's one of the best distractions that we have in life. A break from reality. It ain't all good. It ain't all good, but it ain't all bad. You got to cut this out. If you're able to, if you don't have it, get you some medical assistance. Because with that medical assistance, therapy is covered. Find someone to talk to. Find an outlet. Take care of yourself. 